like the most suave I've ever seen it. Maybe it's the hair light. <laughs> wow, yeah. It's got like the layer on it. It looks like you have one of those bump it things. Yeah. <laughs> In the camera it does it. I do wear a bump it. Hello everybody. Welcome to another natural evolution of the movie movie game. Today we are doing the action movie 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 game. Action movie movie game. Action movie 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 game. You get the gist if you've seen them before. Uh, I take a synopsis of a movie and a synopsis of another movie, slam them together, and then I ask those playing to give me the title of said movie. In action movie movie game, the first movie is an action movie, the second movie can be whatever type of movie I want. Here's a dumb example that I just thought of. Um, Really cool original movie about going real fast on a bus has a bad sequel on the water that features a bunch of toys with really tall, dumb hair. What is it, Kevin? Nope, I do not know. Speed 2 Cruise Controls. <laughs> Yeah, you get it. That's what we're doing today. And we have a special guest. Anthony, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm very excited. I'm also a little nervous because I'm good at this at home and I'm feeling like this is gonna be one of those situations where somebody who lives in a small town dreams of being on Wheel of Fortune their entire life uh, and then just beefs it. Let's do it! I'm gonna land in such a dramatic pose. I'm gonna be facing the right way. Let's do it! <laughs> a young prince must save his very secret, very technologically advanced African nation by carefully dismantling IEDs with his explosive ordnance disposal team. See, that second one sounds like a like a very serious kind of war thing, mm -hmm. and that's uh. <laughs> Jeremy Renner. Oh, Renner! I don't fuck. I don't know Renner. I oh god, Renner. It's so uh, Black Panther is the first <gasps> one. Oh, Black Panther. Zero, I know Zero Dark 30, I know. The other one before that. The, the other one before that? <laughs> see, I don't know, I don't like, I don't know, I've never seen it. Well, I don't see, watch these movies. See what? Point Break? Hurt Locker? <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> there's, in, there's one in between? There's a Bigelow in between? Oh, the Black Panther Locker. Yay! The Hurt Locker. Black Panther Hurt Locker. Wow. That is, it, it, I know the frustration you're feeling, Steve. What I felt it too. <laughs> Dismantling IEDs with his explosive ordnance disposal team. Black Panther Locker. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Baby Natalie P teams up with a plant-loving hitman to take down an underground pooch gambling ring, culminating with the hit showstopper, Let's Make Music Together. A singing alligator? Did you, honestly, are these harder than they normally are? Dog, like a dog thing? There's like a dog thing? Um, is that that, like when she was a kid? Mm -hmm. The professional. And what's the second one? The professional. Oh, the professional dogs go to heaven. Yeah! <laughs> dog hell is in this movie. You see dogs go to hell in this movie, which is crazy because the title's the opposite. The professional dogs go to heaven. Nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The professional dogs go to heaven? <laughs> Leon, the professional dogs go to heaven. Yep. 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 You got it. Are you using search engines when you make these? <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> I mean, no. Man, that's insane. This is the worst. I'm proud of you. Let me tell you, I sit at home and I scream at you guys. I sit at home, I scream at you, and I'm I'm maybe twice in all the movie movie games I've watched have I missed one. And now I'm like, wow. Shake it out. Wow, shake this is out. this is it. If it's any consolation, a lot of our audience does sit at home and scream at us. When you're here before. In the beautiful world, I 
wish I was special. I wish I was special. But I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. What the hell am I doing here? When I don't belong Kevin got the song. Kevin got the song. Let me go on like a blister in the sun. Let me go on. <laughs> oh, you're rolling yet. But anyway, guys, welcome to your show. You know how it works. We, uh, we take questions that you guys submitted on Patreon, and the Patreon is where we go to get all the prompts that we are about to read, and then who knows, maybe we'll have a little fun along the way. You know, huh? We might take what you did, and we might put it into something that we do, and we might lo- make a little us stew. Oh, let's let's make a little us stew you right now, Joe. You guys want to make a little us yeah. stew? All right, us stew on three. One, two, three. Us, us stew. stew. <laughs> ah! Dango Danny, which I feel like is an insensitive thing to say. Is it? Oh, it's time for Dango Danny! If you could have any animal of any size to ride into battle, what would it be? I w- I'm torn between, between something cute that I want after this battle's over to love and have as my pet forever and something that would help me win the battle, which would not yeah, be man. something necessarily cute or something you'd want to keep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get like a, I'm gonna get like, <laughs> I'm gonna get like a thousand foot version of my wife. Whoa! I'm yeah. gonna ride. ride I'm gonna ride on her shoulders as she just stomps and destroys everything. And then I'm gonna make yes. sweet, sweet love to that thousand foot woman. How are you gonna do that? Ooh. I man, I'm going. It's, she'd be like a carnival. She'd be like a theme park ride. You'd have to. You'd have to get onto a thing that could like. Well, no, but I would, I would get like, I'd make a, you know what I mean? I'd make a boat. It would be like a, it'd the be like a, love a boat. boat. It'd be like one of these. Going in. Yeah, battering ram. Right. But you're the, dude, she could swallow me whole. Oh, this and is I could just go the whole way. <laughs> this is boar. This is yeah. boar. Um, I would have a she'd kangaroo. She'd be bloodthirsty, but not like Joe hungry. I would have a giant that. tower sized kangaroo cool. because then I could just live in its pouch and I don't have to do any fighting. Dude, and, those and I would just get so cozy. Mean. And they're so mean and they can fight so good. Yeah. Yeah. So, you be comfy in there while it's kicking yeah. people and shit? You know it's all mucus filled, right? Yeah, that's It's the like the real part. gross. It's guck. There's guck and cum in there. I love guck and cum. There's no, guck and cum. That's not where the, favorite. no, that's <laughs> not, game. that's not what's in there. <laughs> ah! Oh! I need to stop touching this. We'll be right back. Okay. A cocky tool. By the way, before you go on, 
even though people are like, Fuck you, that one's too hard. You put a lot of work into this. So I want to congratulate you for that. I want to say nice work to you, Joe, for putting, uh, thank you. putting this shit together. Uh, well, uh, it's not doesn't mean he's immune to criticism. <laughs> <laughs> Let me piss you off again real quick. Okay. A cocky, tool-wielding space prince finds himself imprisoned on a trash planet, ruled over by an eccentric flying squirrel and his moosey best friend. What? Go back again? What? <laughs> so the second one is Rocky and Bullwinkle. The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. That's not G Guardians of the Galaxy. No. Because that doesn't fit into your little game. Trash planet. Tool wielding prince. Let's kind of name some tools. Like a hammer? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Thor, Ragnarok, and Bullwinkle. Yeah! <laughs> so you're talking Thor, Ragnarok, and Bullwinkle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tool wielding space prints? Tool wielding. Flag on the play. No flag. flag on the play. Condescending. This doesn't fit into your little rule. This doesn't fit into your little game, does it? Thor, Ragnarok, and Bullwinkle. Yeah, baby. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> ah! Mjolnir is not a tool. You can't suck, Joe. Nobody thinks of Mjolnir as a tool. Tool wielding, you're a tool wielding prince. You gotta ask yourself a question. Mm -hmm. Do I feel lucky enough to win a series of competitions in the Greek games to finally beat the jocks of Alpha Beta and earn respect for my fellow collegiate Poindexters? The good, the bad, the ugly. <laughs> Not clean, you're. You're dirty. Right. Yeah, you yeah. have to take a shower. If you're. If you're not no, clean no, no. shaven, you're. Stubbly. But it's on the top of your head, so it's just. <laughs> Peach fuzz. You covered it. Are you talking about the Clint Eastwood film? Oh Clint, Clint Eastwood film, Dirty Peach Fuzz? <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Hair Revenge of the Nerds. Boom! Wow, yeah! Dirty Hair Revenge of the Nerds? Yes! Baby! <laughs> <laughs> Elliot thought it was the good, the bad, and the ugly, so. Yeah, no, I just picked titles that sound like they could even remotely be involved in some <laughs> yeah, of the things no. we're talking about. Hey, oh, Dirty Hair Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah! There you go. Yeah, that's just a title that I. Yeah. You handed that. There's a very problematic sex scene in that movie. You should look it up. You love problematic sex I love scenes. problematic sex scenes, yeah. <laughs> I'm too old for this shit, exclaimed an exhausted near-retirement officer as the suicidal half of his buddy cop relationship fled the depths of the ocean. Mm -hmm. To leave his fishy life behind, it become a human on the surface world. <laughs> uh... Danny Glover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a lethal weapon. Yeah. 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 And yeah. then you got a little, little Mermaid in there. Ocean to leave his Japanese fishy life behind. His Japanese fishy life behind. Okay, so it's racist. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> his animated Japanese oh, fishy life. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Man, you needed to you needed to give something else in there. Joe is racist. Oh, yeah. Joe's racist. I I am racist. Joe is racist. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta be like ham loving or like. Oh, lethal wet ponyo. Yeah. Ponyo. <laughs> ponyo. You get ponyo. Point. Now I'm racist. So sorry. Why would you do this to me? It's ponyo. A Japanese Little Mermaid. It's ponyo. Ponyo. Yeah. Lethal wet ponyo. <laughs> I have never heard of such a thing. Uh, the what's the, what's, it, I mean, you gotta give, you gotta put something in there. Cause it's Lethal Web Ponyo. Yeah. <laughs> but like, you gotta give something about Ponyo in there. Right? Ponyo! Ponyo! That movie's okay. Uh, it's weird and I like it. Matt Damon's in it. Yeah, well that's, listen, let me push <laughs> my glasses up. You shouldn't be watching the dubs. You gotta watch the subs. I understand you got kids, maybe, yeah, maybe they watch that's the dubs. The kids, yeah. Put the kids to bed, watch the yeah. subs. It's Whitney picking a prompt. It's Whitney and she is picking prompts. But don't think, don't Whitney 
Picking up prompted weenie. Picking up prompted weenie. Picking up a prompted weenie. Picking a Now it's time for a solo from the Jews harp. <laughs> Duets <laughs> for the ages, everybody. Whitney Moore, Steve Zaragoza. Oh, no, 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 Willie, no! No, 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 no! no. Oh. <laughs> William Haynes. Hey, William Haynes, what's up, man? Hey, I'm okay, cool, let me let you in. Here we go, ready? Aaron Geyer says, group hug? Okay. Whoever is reading this aggressively grab Steven's ass. Well. I know what my role is in this uh, group hug, so. What do you want me to do? Uh, excuse me, I gotta get down here. Uh, excuse me, I gotta get down here. Gotta aggressively turn you around here and. I'm gonna adopt you. I'm gonna raise you as my own. I'm gonna give you my tutelage. I'm gonna live through you vicariously as you play sports. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna send you off to college and I'm gonna regret my ways. And I'm gonna tell you to find your own way and learn from my mistakes. That's what I'm gonna do. Seeing your pants from the front. <laughs> <laughs> like moving like, like that. Doing <laughs> <laughs> I'm like in a movie. <laughs> Holy sh Crazy All right. <laughs> There's glass everywhere. Like. All right, guys. Yeah. Julianne Spooky McRae says, "My five-year-old, Callan, who cares?" Said, <laughs> "I dare you all to be nice." <laughs> All right. This is a tripler. What? This is three titles. Okay. You ready? Now you are going into a new round here where we are doing three movies y in each one. Go to hell. <laughs> yeah, right? Go to hell. A triple means it's There's two three movies. Great. And these were all specially made because Anthony was here. Okay. Right? Did he get all of these? Big metal ball make planets go boom boom, but the uprising you know? is but the uprising has just found a motley crew consisting of a desert orphan, some Boston Dynamics rejects, a rogue space douche and his sex dog, and a domesticated grizzly bear that teamed up with a mule deer to survive hunting season, and their trip back home to the farm to introduce their conservative family members to their hippie weasel boyfriend from college. Buddy. Wow. Is it like? Um, so I mean, like, the metal ball that blows up planets could be A New Hope or Return of the Jedi. But there's a specific one you're talking about? Are you doing, are, you, are we doing first or, first or second Death Star? Um, cause, well, cause then you're talking A New Hope, mm -hmm. okay? A uh, domesticated grizzly bear that teamed up with a mule deer to survive hunting season. Mule? Oh, is that open season? Or to be fair, that big metal blow up thing is in like four other of the Star Wars too, so. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Star Killer Base is not a Death Star, you son of a bitch. A, a, a Star Wars, a new uh, hope and see sun. Sun, sun. Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope and Season in Law. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> son in Law. I don't. <laughs> I don't want. Oh, oh! I've never seen this, but it is uh, Star Wars: A New Hope and Season in Law. Yeah. Go to hell. <laughs> Whiny incestual space amputee learns that the bad man did the naughty poke poke with his mama, all while trying to figure out what arsonist is behind all these dang Chicago fires alongside Jaden and his pop pop on our new home planet. Incestuous space amputee. <laughs> yeah. I'm racking my brain. Did the poke, oh, God dang it. It's, it's the, jeez. <laughs> After Earth is the last one. What the f is the fire one? Is that backdraft? Oh, okay. 
Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back Draft. You got it. You got it. I forgot what the third one was oh, again. Jaden and Pop Pop. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. D D Star Wars <laughs> Episode 5 The Empire Strikes Backdraft. Uh, no, uh, uh, no, 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 no. Start I over. Star Wars Empire Strikes Backdraft or Earth. Good job. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I keep getting to. Oh, no, no, got it. Star Wars Episode 5 The Empire Strikes Backdraft or Earth. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. You These triple ones, man. They f yeah. I don't. Yeah. This is like it's too much for the brain to. It's like a I Rubik's have a cube. Feeling Anthony might destroy all these. Uh, yeah. He's yeah. Player. He's if I'm doing as well as I'm doing and doing pretty bad, he's gonna <laughs> kill it. Whiny ancestral space amputee learns that the bad man did the naughty poke poke with his mama, all while trying to figure out what arsonist is behind all these dang Chicago fires, alongside Jaden and his pop pop on their new home planet. The Empire Strikes Back Drafter Earth. Yeah! Wow. Oh, sorry, Kevin. That's great. That was so good. No hesitation. Shout out to Rogue One writer and After Earth writer Gary Whitta. Primitive carnivorous space bears defeat a technologically advanced superpower by teaming up with Samuel L. Jackson to play a deadly and explosive game of Simon Says, masterminded by. Woody Allen as a bug. <laughs> and this is three movies? Mm -hmm. I, uh, I bug something, a bug's life. No, ants. Okay, uh, so uh, first of all, I very much appreciate your summary of these of the Star Wars movies. Thanks. This should not go un underappreciated. R Return of the Jed. Oh, got it. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson? You're teaming up with Samuel L. Jackson. And you're Bruce Willis. Yeah, I was going to say Die Hard, but I didn't want to instead, so I didn't. Oh, but you're right. Uh, that's neat to know. Ver Star Wars <laughs> Return of the Jet. Die Hard. Der. With? Die Hard with um, a Vengeance. Yes. Star Wars Episode Six: Return of the Jet. Die Hard with a Vengeance. Yeah, baby! You yeah. got it. Woody Allen as a bug. That is... Return of the Jed Die Hard 3, Die Hard with Avenge Ants. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Ants, the superior movie to A Bug's Life. <laughs> you heard it here, and you'll hear it often. A Bug's Life is fine, Ants is dope as shit. <laughs> Star Wars, Return of the Jed Die Harder with a vengeance. Yeah, we'll count it. <laughs> <laughs> You're done! Yes! <laughs> I'm gonna go nap! How much do you think this costs? $3.75. Mm. I think it's $4.99. Or $9.99. Joe, how much do you think this costs? That is a not on sale $12.99 piece of ceramic, but on sale it's $4.50. Four fifty. What did you say? Nine ninety nine. You win five dollars. Whoa! I did three seventy five. But was Joe closer? Still? I'm a thrifty yeah. mother. He said four fifty. Damn, I thought he said ten dollars. Okay. He said ten dollars retail. Twelve dollars on, retail. Not on sale. Four dollars on sale. Oh. oh, you know what? But maybe because it's not on sale, so I think Will actually oh. is right. Oh, we got another dog over here. Oh. That's because Bob Barker is my father, so I studied prices right. Do you spay and neuter like so many pets? Yes. Good. This is a service that you do. Mm. How did I get on this episode? Mariah Weirly asks, opinions on pooping in public restrooms. Do you have the most slash least favorite place to poop outside of your own home? We've definitely talked about this before. Really? Yeah, yeah, like, don't you day. leave? You go home. <laughs> oh, you used to. Yeah, I used to. I used to public. never, right. ever, no matter what, I would be hurting myself. But you've evolved. I, I had to. Where's the? What's the weirdest? The weirdest place you pooped? So the most uncomfortable place. You uh, it actually, I thought it was gonna be in a Krispy Kreme. <laughs> 
I was it's like, what? That I, <laughs> I was like, because I do not want to take a dump in a Krispy Kreme. <laughs> Why? It's a happy place. <laughs> but the bathroom well, they're was making good. delicious the food. Was good. You know, you would walk out. I was, I was just walking on the thing, looking like a kid, looking to where they make the donuts, and I was like, uh oh. The fact that you are feet away from where food is being made, and you're delicious out things, the that dirtiest people... eggs you got. The yeah, dirtiest yeah. brown eggs. You're dropping brown eggs all oh over the place. God. I prefer to go <laughs> in one of those bathrooms where you can lock it, and you're in there alone. Pooper. I like those bathrooms. I like moves. truly do I'm not a quick, care. I'm a quick pooper. I'm a quick pooper also, yeah. and I'm just like, I've never In ever felt shame yeah. about pooping at like a boyfriend's house or... Just dropping stinky eggs. Everywhere. Drop <laughs> Brown eggs. Once oh. you move in together, you're you're mm -hmm. gonna be all up in each other's you're poop. See it. I, I still don't love going into a public bathroom if there's other people in the stall and like, maybe I'll wait for someone to be done. Do you laugh because when I you hear also... farts? No! Oh, I, I can't help it. I cannot help it. If, if someone taking a if shit. someone's next to me and they're like, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> or sometimes I'll go like, oh. yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I take it as a challenge and I fart harder. Oh. <laughs> you know what the most miserable place is, and everybody thinks it's fine and dandy, but it's not, is when you're out in nature. I've done the leaf like, thing in the do? past. You do the leaf? Oh, yeah. You it's just not you've fun. You've liked the leaf. Yeah. You don't just like bring your toilet paper and then pack it out? It's not one of those situations where I expected to be oh there that God. long. Did you feel the know. leaf did the job? I think so. I took that it home and I, ex I inspected it and made sure it was fine and good. I'm talking about in the moment. Do you think it did the job? No, never. I got to tell you what happened with the public restroom with me last week. I, I, I hate public restrooms too and I couldn't wait. I had to go. So I was like, okay, I'll just go in this JC Penny right here because it was Oh, fancier. they're not keeping those bathrooms very nice. And I went inside and I sat down and I started to go and look what was on what crawled. No! Oh. 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 Uh, uh. No! Yeah. You, you made the wrong are choice. The thing that scare me the most. Dude, when cockroaches are in the bathroom, that's it bad. Just, that's you know, bad cockroach fell on my naked body once oh. while I was asleep. Oh. I almost also wiped my face on one once. What? When oh. I had first moved into that place, I was this was before Jesse and I were together. I was recently single and I was like, I'm moving in the, on my own for the first time. And I went out and I came back and I washed my face and I went to dry my face on the towel and it was no right there. Alive. Oh. alive. Oh. Just like things like, are twitching. Sometimes yeah. cockroaches are so big, like they're not New York big here in LA, yeah. but, but they're pretty that. big. I feel bad killing them. I'm like, it's this an is animal. animal. But here's it's what, because animal. there's, yeah, because it's like, an, it's like, can you can you kill a rat? There's a scientific equation. There's there, there's just some <laughs> limit where <laughs> when the thing gets big. so big, it's like, oh, I know that I am stealing life yeah. and you feel <laughs> bad. The, bigger, the if thing about cockroaches too, if you squish it, it releases a chemical that attracts other cockroaches yeah. because they Bees eat each too. other. There's a poison that they eat and they bring it back to the um, egg nest and oh, yeah, then and it infects all the eggs. Yeah, and, and then it's they'll, they'll a die. Cockroach. <laughs> Narc roach. <laughs> Narc roach. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, guys. What an what an episode. Am I right? What an episode, huh? From start to finish, we had a great time. I want to thank Whitney Moore. I love you so much, you weird bastard. You're my favorite person on the planet. <laughs> Joe, anything you want to say? <laughs> Thanks for being a patron of The Valley Folk. Go to patreon.com slash The Valley Folk if you'd like to contribute to the prompts on the show. And maybe you're a and done by Whitney Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time on your show. Bye. Oh no, he's he's broken.